What's David Cameron been up to while all this has been going on? He... he went to Ibiza. Yes. How's he gonna blag having gone to, like, one of the world's most notorious clubbing hotspots at a time of national crisis? Are there a lot of seals there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you think it's a bit unfair? What, on him? Yeah. I mean, the Prime Minister's got to have a holiday. It's not as though he'd do anything if he was here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, do you feel safer with him in Ibiza or here? <laughs> I'm not too bothered, really. And, he, I mean, it is unfair. I mean, cos everyone said Churchill used to go on holiday. I'm in the middle of the Second World War. He went off to Marrakesh and mm. took swimming holidays. Mm. And no one said, Churchill, what a bastard. <laughs> Hitler wasn't too complimentary, but generally speaking. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't think that's what Churchill meant when he said we'd fight him on the beaches. No. <laughs> I don't know, he's quite a drinker on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Got a picture of the Camerons on holiday. Oh, it's charming. It's lovely. They're not really holiday... It's not holiday garb, is it? Are they goths, the Camerons? <laughs> <laughs> Surely you could have worn a Hawaiian shirt or something of that nature. Maybe oh, that's... Can you imagine the tabloids if he'd worn a Hawaiian shirt? How sickening! Yeah, you're quite Terror right. Terror stalks the land and Cameron wears an amusing shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what a bastard! <laughs> So the press are always critical of Cameron for taking a holiday when there is uh, serious issues to be dealt with. The Prime Minister had clearly taken on board criticism, it says the Mail, that oh. last year of his formal footwear, opting for more weather-appropriate sandals this time. That is absolute proof that the Lib Dems are overly <laughs> influencing this coalition. <laughs> <laughs> that's last year. The black slip-ons on the left. He, he dresses practically, <laughs> so effectively, that's... Look, whose side are you on? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I do think people should dress sensibly. <laughs> We're in every time for silliness. Right? <laughs> um, Thank God you found a public platform for that. <laughs> <laughs> and in that shirt. <laughs> so... <laughs> yes, I don't think that's an appropriate shirt, <laughs> given what's happening in, in the country at the moment. Oh, right. Well, I, it... I went to M&S and said, what have you got in your satirical shirt set? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe who I've got to impress this evening. <laughs> well, I can tell you, this is an absolutely true story. This week, I went and bought this suit. I won't name the shop. And the guy said, is it for an event? And I said, yeah, I'm doing... Um, I'm hosting Have I Got News For You this week. And honestly, he said to me, oh, is there anybody big on? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fine. <laughs>